Der Unterschied zwischen Crazy Jiu-Jitsu und Takeda Ryo Nakamura H, einer der ältesten Schulen für japanische Kampfkünste. Wenn dich das interessiert, dann bleib dabei. Mein Name ist Sensei Christian Hausecker und wir waren für dich in Tallinn bei einem der höchstgraduiertesten Lehrer der Takeda Ryo Nakamura H, Okuden Shihan Bert van den Blas. Er hat uns ein Interview gegeben über Themen, die Zukunft des Martial Arts, wie lange unterrichtet er schon, den Unterschied zwischen Takeda Ryo Nakamura H, einer der ältesten Schulen für japanische Kampfkünste, und Crazy Jiu Jitsu. Warum betreibt er Crazy Jiu Jitsu? Warum hat er in Tallinn einen wunderbaren Dojo aufgebaut? Bevor wir jedoch hineinstarten ins Video, bitte abonniert unten unseren Kanal, gebt uns einen Daumen hoch und teilt unser Video. Es kostet euch nichts und ihr unterstützt damit unsere Arbeit. Wir danken euch dafür. Aber nun starten wir schon hinein. Habt viel Spaß mit dem Video.
Hallo Leute, wir sind heute hier in Tallinn bei Sensei Bert van den Blas, Oku den Shi und Akeda Ryu Nakamura H in seinem Special Studio, in seinem Special Dojo und haben die Freude, ein sehr schönes Interview mit ihm heute zu führen. Ich danke Sensei van den Blas. Yeah, my name is Bert van den Blas. I'm uh, Oku den Shi und Akeda Ryu Nakamura H, as well as a uh, certified Gracie Jiu Jitsu instructor under the Gracie University by Henry and Hiram Gracie. So I started my journey uh, with karate in 1988. Okay, then I wanted to start more discovering different arts with drawing and everything, and I discovered the Takeda School. So in 1993, I visited the seminar in Takeda Ryu, and I saw that I was a sobido. And sobido means that it's a complete art with different disciplines: Aikido, Jodo, Yaido, Jukenpo, and that was exactly what I was looking for. So I started my journey learning that, okay, to complete art. Um, I've been continuing that until basically 2017, when I discovered Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Now, I've been continuing, of course, Takeda Ryu Nakamura because it's the source of my start, my lifestyle, what I've been believing in. And Gracie Jiu-Jitsu is more a modern way compared to what is Takeda Ryu Nakamura which is the self-defense of the samurai. Okay, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu is the self-defense nowadays. So very efficient in that way. So 2017, I got certified by the Gracie family and I opened my dojo into the Sobukai. So now, Tallinn, Estonia, since 2007, I've been teaching here the Takeda Renak Muraha and still going on like nowadays. Uh, as we said before, 2017, when I was certified by the Gracie family to teach Gracie Jizutsu, starting with Gracie Kambalas and Bullyproof, okay, for the kids. So that has been going on since 2017 now, and we still go this uh, until today. Takeda Ryu is based on a long culture from uh, Japan, uh, samurai, histor historics. So it was a life and death situation. Somebody lived, somebody died. Uh, compared to Gracie Zutsu, we cannot just kill somebody these days because we would go to prison and it would not be the right thing to do as a good civilian. So I think self-defense these days, Krishi Zuzutsu, is like to protect yourself and the bad guy. While the samurai art was like, okay, one has to die or I get killed. So that's the main difference, I think, between the two. That's a very good question. We never know how it's going to develop. Um, what I personally see is that the traditional martial arts, which was basically from mouth to mouth, uh, sharing the information, the knowledge um, from generation to generation, becomes harder and harder, of course, like if you cannot really physically train together, uh, you cannot always travel to Japan. So it becomes more and more difficult to learn that way. Okay? So I think the, these days or the future days, we're gonna have to use more the tools we have available via the internet, you know, via Zoom, okay? connections like this. So yeah, it's not the same as being in the dojo, um, having that personal connection. But I think it's something that's going to be more and more and you see it happening more and more. So a lot of sensei are making their own videos. They put them on YouTube and people start learning information from there. So it's not so much mouth to mouth, but people pick up techniques. Um, although I don't think it's the only way uh, and it's the best way, but it's probably the way it's going to go in the future. Also thinking that people don't have that much time anymore. If you see Takeda Nakamura, we have five to seven disciplines, depends on the dojo and how many hours we are training there. So to do seven disciplines and get really good in that, it takes a lot of work every week. And people do not have that time. So they need to have a bit of the home time where they can study and get the information there. And then when they practice in the dojo, it becomes even more efficient because they already have it in the head. They don't have to listen at first. They already know what's coming. And this is what we have, for example, developed in Gracie Jiu-Jitsu by Henry and Hiron Gracie. So he has developed the whole system. Every technique we learn is online. So we have a breakup. Even if today we were in the class, we can, and we didn't get the whole technique, we can go home, review the technique, and next time we review it again, and we have the details back in. And this is probably what is gonna happen more and more and what is needed, because the society has less time, less time to physically practice, but it's important to still do it. If people can do it two hours, three hours a week, it's probably good. Now, is it ideal? It's not the same as before, but that's the world we live in now.
Yeah, you know, it is a bit what Budo has given me. Okay, it's the confidence you get from learning the techniques to be able to defend yourself, to defend your family, your friends, anybody who needs just to become a better civilian. So, because we see too often these days, there's a fight going on, somebody gets beaten up, and what do people do? They just bring out the camera and they film it instead of going in and help. So that's not what I want in this world. I want, if I'm in trouble, that somebody comes and help me. Mm -hmm. So my philosophy is a bit like, the more people learn martial arts, the safer the world is going to be. Thank so you. Let's keep it working and let's keep spreading the news and the information. Yeah, peace and love and martial arts. Yes. Thank you very much, Sensei. It was a pleasure for us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Und es ist schon wieder vorbei. Wir hoffen, es hat euch sehr gut gefallen. Wenn ihr Fragen habt, bitte schreibt es unten in die Kommentare. Abonniert bitte unseren Kanal, gebt uns einen Daumen hoch für diese Arbeit, für dieses Video und teilt unser Video. Wenn ihr Fragen zu diesem Video generell habt, schreibt bitte an uns, an die Subudo Akademie oder direkt an Okuden Shihan, Bert van den Blas. Die gesamten Kontaktinformationen habt ihr unten in den Beschreibungen des Videos. Danke für eure Zeit. Arigato Koshimasta.